Hello everyone, Happy New Year! I'm KNWA and Fox 24 Chief Meteorologist Dan Scoff. It looks like we are going to end 2014 thankfully on a quiet, tranquil, albeit a little bit cold note. But as we move into 2015, looks like some active weather could be headed our way, including the possibility of some freezing rain, sleet, along with some light snow changing back over to rain. It's a complicated and tricky forecast, also very uncertain at this time. And let me get you caught up with this webcast extra with all the latest. We're going to start you off with the temperatures. The time of this recording is late Monday night. We're just before midnight on December 30th as we move into New Year's Eve. It is going to be a chilly start to the morning. Wind chill will be near single digits. You have 25 in Rogers, 27 in Fayetteville at 11 o'clock in the evening on Monday. Look at the temperature in Denver, 13 degrees below zero. You're near zero in Goodland, and the Arctic air has definitely intruded across the entire central, northern, as well as eastern United States. So this is the surface map. There's that Arctic front that worked its way all the way into the central Gulf, but we have a strong 1050 or nearly 1050 millibar high, even a little bit above that working its way into the northern plains that is going to be key to bring in that shallow cold arctic air then off to the west in the southwest we've got a big low pressure system that is organizing and developing and that's what we are focused on over the next several days the speed and the track of this low I will say though that this weather pattern is prone to surprises as far as the onset of precipitation you will notice several ripples in this energy that can definitely go undetected in the computer models and therefore not really showing a whole lot of precipitation. So that's my first red caution flag with this system. You will notice the weather setup as well. A large dip in the jet stream, this is what we call a positively tilted trough, meaning if you were to divide the trough axis, you would have a man going uphill from west to east and that is what you call a positively tilted trough. This will eventually start to turn more of a neutral and start to kick off to the east later on this week. That means the weather will clear out by the end of the weekend. But we have that cold air surging southward. It's a shallow layer of cold air. But with the frozen precipitation mix, that is where you have the warm air surging in from the south in the lower levels. We're talking around two to 3,000 feet above the ground, and uh, that is uh, what we call the uh, warm 850 millibar wind. So as that pumps in the moisture, also the warmth, you're going to see how that's going to lead to the potential for a mixed bag of frozen precipitation. Now the satellite and radar is showing a surprise over southern and southeastern Kansas on this Monday afternoon into the evening. In fact, Wichita picked up one and a half inches of snow and this was totally undetected by most computer models and FutureTrack didn't have a handle on this at all. So that's one of those impulses that rippled in from that southwest flow undetected by the computer models. Now the FutureTrack me personally, I think it's underdoing the amount of precipitation and also the onset of it. It really doesn't have much happening and uh, that's not the case in central Texas. They're already seeing freezing drizzle along with some light snow and some uh, also some a little bit of uh, frozen precipitation in the central Texas area. Now on Wednesday night and a Thursday morning, here comes that wave of energy. But notice I stopped at Thursday afternoon and I'm not even going to zoom in more because it's just so uncertain. I think this is way underdoing the energy that's swinging in and I think there's going to be more precipitation that does develop uh, compared to this future track at three o'clock and that means the onset of this precipitation could start off as sleet eventually changing to a freezing rain now by Thursday evening you can see that precipitation starting to develop again that big huge low is still off to the southwest near the Four Corners region and it's going to slowly make progression eastward the setup on why we are going to see the different type of winter precipitation which is definitely the case around here and usually the case during the winter season is you have that shallow layer of Arctic air this is looking almost due west so just imagine that shallow Arctic air moving in below freezing very low to the ground from the north and then from the south as you saw on the setup the warm layer of air that's above freezing 
and uh, that is moving in from the southwest and that will melt your precipitation so when you have rain which is expected in the river valley the air will be above freezing from the surface all the way up until uh, 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 several thousand feet above the ground the snow will melt and that frozen precipitation which is snowflakes will melt through the warm air and then melts all into liquid rain now in parts of northwest arkansas we're going to have that frozen precipitation falling through the warm air but it's going to melt into rain in that warm layer of air but then because you have that below freezing weather very close to the ground elevated surfaces will become coated with a layer of ice that's freezing rain where that cold air gets a little bit deeper you have sleet meaning that uh, frozen raindrop will be able to refreeze all the way into a solid ball of ice and that is less serious than ice accumulation doesn't power uh, doesn't pile up on power lines as well as tree limbs and then in parts of southeast Kansas and northeast Oklahoma the cold air will be deep enough so it will remain as all snowflakes so there's your mixed bag and your different winter precipitation types and why they occur I'm gonna give another detailed weather update tomorrow as that system becomes a little more uh, certain but there will be a lot of uncertainty with this system it's all about the surface temperatures me personally I think northwestern Benton County will be at or below freezing at the onset of the precipitation Thursday afternoon so that's going to lead to uh, some sleet on the leading edge of that precipitation due to evaporative cooling and then as we move throughout the afternoon on Thursday we're gonna have freezing rain especially in the higher elevations of the Boston Mountains near the Bobby Hopper tunnel so there will be some sleek bridges and overpasses then as we move into Friday more frozen precipitation mixing in with rain and then on Saturday it appears at this time temperatures will warm above freezing but we'll have another detailed webcast extra on your New Year's Eve to get you caught up with the latest for the end of of this week. Have a good one and keep it here for all the latest.